folks, and welcome back to Weekly West. I'm your host and commissioner, Tom Anderson. It's been uh, quite the hiatus, but here we are. We're back again, and we're back in better than the Hesh truck. And uh, just a few things to go over. Uh, as commissioners do, we inform the public of important rule changes. Um, the biggest one this off season is uh, we're changing five balls. is now a walk instead of the normal six. And we are bringing in scuff balls. It's been a heated topic uh, throughout the years of the PWL. And uh, we now have the option of bringing in scuff balls if you choose to do so. But if you do choose to do so, please bring your own scuff balls. Um, another big rule, which everyone knows about, is the douchebag rule. Um, I feel like it was started started by um, Hall of Famer Nick Hamlin. Um, it's when you're an outfielder, it's a pop-up in the air, and you purposely drop it to uh, try to attempt a double play. So with this rule now, if you do try to attempt that. Um, it's basically like um, infield fly rule, but everyone's safe, even the person that hit it. Um, so if I hit a, a pop up to the outfielder who tried to purposely drop it, I'd be safe at first, and the runner that was running to second would also be safe. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for the intro, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to head off to Dan now. Dan? Thank you, Tom. Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm Dan Anderson, and this is the Inside Scoop. Alright, so the draft is going to be Sunday, May 6th at 7 p.m. It's going to be live streamed on Facebook, so make sure you tune in, see what team you end up on. Also, opening day is going to be June 3rd. It's coming up, fellas. It's coming up real quick. Be here before you know it. Alright, breaking news. Matt Russell is going to take the 6th GM spot. He's now Team Kilbasa. But the real question is, can he break the curse of the Warriors, who last season went 0-20 after Eric Lee quit? Lots of fourth games there. I hope it doesn't happen to Team Kilbasa there. Also, more breaking news. Nate Powers is stepping down as GM, and Brett Willen is going to take over his spot. He got big shoes to fill after last season, as the Biscuits had a 13-7 and season. Can he live up to the hype? Only time will tell. Also, a possible name change for that team will be coming in the future. Also, Brian Quintadama will be stepping down as GM of the Bad Larrys, and Kyle Q is going to take his place. Will he be able to bring the team to the championship again? Only time will tell. All right, folks, that's all for the Inside Scoop, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Hello, all, and uh, welcome back. There's some key things to take away from the Inside Scoop with Dan Anderson. Uh, the draft will consist of three rounds on May 6th, starting at 7 p.m., and uh, the first round looks like the Lemurs have a pre-draft pick due to not keeping anyone, and then the first overall pick goes to Team Kibasa. Second overall pick is the Llamas. Third, Rhinos. Fourth, Biscuits. Fifth, Lemurs. Sixth, the Larrys. I'd like to reiterate the point that uh, it's never too early to start recruiting. Um, spread the word. Let's get more new faces in the draft. Uh, this is our newest member. Um, he'll be 12 Thank during you. the season. This is Ty Anderson. Thank you, um, sir. Anything you'd like to say to the potential GMs that may be interested in drafting you? Um, I have been at most of the games for the PWL, and I have been practicing there, and now is my time to show all my practice. So it's pretty much his time is now. Um, he's ready. Um, we're going to have to take it easy on him. He's, he's, a, he's a big, strong boy. Um, definitely would, won't be the worst person in history. Q Kevin Minot, Q Sage Kamasi. Um, <laughs> other than that... Um, season's looking out to be great. Um, opening day is June 3rd, and I'm sure we'll be uh, in contact with most of you before that date, so we'll be in touch. Take care.